I'm going to take a dance, I'll take a nap at some point. Early doors, I reckon, to be honest as well. About four months, yet you? No, we're not going to catch up now, we're like, one just finishing now, then three the music. think. Half four, three or four. Too far away. Yeah, yeah. Stay that far. I'm gonna stand up jumping. Yeah. I did a couple of times. So like if, if, if he's a boxer, I'm a little boxer. We're not gonna box today. Are you gonna box today? In the parking lot. Right, so I'm not gonna go away from oh, you. Yeah. I know it's hard because you don't wanna hit him with your legs. But yeah. If you would have put it on more fresh, yeah, he's, he's breathing heavy. Yeah, he was. And he's only on his hands. So if you would have just put him on a little bit more. Yeah. You would have passed that. I agree. Yeah. But he's long and awkward and he's going to watch exactly how I saw you fight as well. Yeah. He was tricky with really. It was tricky like, with his feet and stuff, but he did little things with his hooks so he's where he's trying to get that all time and he said. He was cross hooks as well. Exactly. Yeah. He was going cross hooks for, for the plants. It was hard to... Uh, if he would have passed that way, or was glad he never. He would have exposed it. There you go. Okay. Well, obviously, uh, I got the win. Um, guy was pretty tricky. I think he's like ADC, Swedish champion. He's a brain belt. He was very long. Sat down, obviously, didn't want to wrestle with me, so... That kind of took a lot of my game plan away. I thought he'd wrestle a little bit more because he's been a bit of a mare. But yeah, he just sat down and scooted towards me, looking for heel ups, looking for sweeps. And yeah, it was very tricky. I think he got one sweep because I subbed. I went for more subs. I managed to get the win. And I almost got a, I'm almost finished with, with a Peruvian on the last probably 10 seconds. Got a few snap bends when he stood up for 30 seconds. But um, very critical in my me, me performances every time, every time I compete, even when I win. I'm obviously asking my coach, how did I do and, and where do I need to uh, correct? And that's how I've always been. But um, I'm happy I got the win. Yeah, so Jack today, obviously, very dominant against the purple belt. Jack's literally only just got his blue belt and he's 17. He's fighting, uh, well, sorry, competing in Jiu Jitsu against 21, 24 year olds, Mary. But this guy who was just going against us a four fight win on Grapple Fest, which is very high level. He subbed them all, he looks. And Jack, who doesn't even compete in here, looks uh, because he's an amateur fighter, as um, you know, didn't come anywhere close to getting he looked and almost subbed the guy. Um, I'm very proud of Jack of uh, his performance today with the pressure only for two weeks ago, having to cut a little bit of weight again. So the future is very bright for him, and uh, I'm very proud of him for what he's done today. Yeah, I feel good with man. I was dominant, went for those submissions. I just want to work on finishing them submissions now, being more confident in them. That's about it, really. I don't feel like anything went wrong or in any any danger for the whole ten minutes. It's just complete dominant. When when it might be fight or compete? Well, I've had an active year, very active, loads of experience with the IMF and and Jiu Jitsu tournaments and everything. So I'd like to get at least one more fight in this year, and then next year it's going to be I'm going to run the amateur scene and get all the titles. Well, obviously, I've yeah, just done grappling. I'm happy. I've done done a bit of Jiu Jitsu and competing in a big big event like Grapple Fest because I just wanted to get my name out there on the grappling scene really because you know grappling's getting really big now and 
you know, to, to, to maybe when I retire or even starting now before I retire, because I want to fight again. Start getting my name out there on the grappling scene and, and be, try and become a world champion in, in grappling as well. And I, I, whatever I do, I want to be at the highest level, you know, I'll be the highest level of wrestling. I mean, the highest level of um, mixed martial arts in the UFC, and you know, I'd love to be the highest, highest level in uh, grappling as well. And you know, I feel there's still a lot, a lot to learn in this game, but I'm always learning, I'm always looking to learn, I'm not ignorant about it. And yeah, but I am going to be looking to sign a contract for somewhere new next year. I don't know where, but it's got to be a big event. I'm not going to be fighting on any local. Uh, I'm a person who doesn't like to go backwards in life. I, I've been in the UFC, but it's got to be a big promotion that, that I'm going to be looking for, really. Obviously, I've got I've got to be looking at uh, signing a contract next year. But meantime, what I've been doing, I've been um, building an online uh, platform of techniques and showing off all my techniques. What I've done throughout the 20, 29 years of wrestling and the uh, 11, 12 years of mixed martial arts and fighting at the highest level. What I feel works, what I feel doesn't work, and I, I put them all online so everyone can watch them and uh, subscribe to them.